That's right, so knowing the flash points of the oils to make sure you're getting the benefits without the carcinogenic particles or materials that your body can't recognize. Hey, it's Lance McGowan here and we're at Costco Summerlin and covering some of our favorite food items and when it comes to oils, it's important to have alternatives to the corn, soy, vegetable, and canola out there which are high in omega-6s. So you wanna avoid those at all costs. But Malie has a few of her favorite alternatives to those oils when you're cooking and doing your thing in the kitchen. So here's what she's got to say. So we have avocado oil here. This is by Chosen Foods. So this is like the best brand for avocado oil and this is a really good value it's um, non-gmo and for $8.69 for this 33 fluid ounces I cook with this a lot so I stir fry my vegetables in this a lot and the reason why is because the flash point on it is at 500 Fahrenheit so there's no smoke high smoke point and it doesn't become carcinogenic when you're cooking at a high heat with this. I also will bake with this sometimes. It has a very mild flavor, so it, it really is good for either whether you're cooking on the stove or baking. So this, I'm definitely going to get this. And then we have our coconut oil here. So this is a pretty good value too. This is organic virgin coconut oil. It's cold pressed, unrefined by Costco's brand, Kirtland. $16.99 for this tub. Um, this is a 2.48 liter and this um, we use for our skin. It's really great for your skin. I do oil pulling with this, um, but I also bake with this as well. So we pretty much use this on anything and everything. So we go through quite a bit of um, coconut oil. So we really love this. Yes. I will also add that that is really good as a natural lotion and it's gonna be more solid when it's under 76 degrees, but you can kind of work it in the palm of your hands. Otherwise, um, yeah, a great lotion replacement. That's only one ingredient, and you can obviously use it in cooking as well, which is great. And it's a good carrier oil for essential oils if you're not using a fractionated coconut oil, which I have more information on all that too in some of my other videos. All right, so um, one of the last oils to choose from as an alternative to the corn, soy, vegetable, and canola oil, which are high in omega-6s, but another alternative that we like besides avocado and coconut oil is... This is uh, organic extra virgin olive oil. This one I'm gonna use more for like homemade dressings and on my salad, it's got that deep olive taste um, and it's really good for you as well to use for that. So that's more what I'm gonna use this. What do you use this plant for? For you could you use olive oil a little bit more is it in your your soups and your stir fries as well yes i'll use this in stir fries and a lot of sauteing of vegetables i'll use the olive oil so a lot more savory dishes um, but yeah i look at olive oil as kind of the sister oil to the avocado whereas the coconut oil is more solid at room temperature so there's going to be different uses um i would use and i would say that the olive oil and the avocado have more of that um and same thing with coconut oil, they kind of have that, you have to work them in. They're kind of a good carrier oil on your skin, but they're a little bit more greasier. But a fractionated coconut oil is nice for your skin, but not used for cooking. Um, and so we have a specific brand that we use for that. Um, but yeah, did you have anything else to say yeah. about? Uh, for frying, like this is this, uh, smoke point's a little lower on this, so more of a sauteing, or like I said, in salads. Um, I would use more of the avocado oil for that, but it's still a really good oil to use in general. So we do use this. That's right. So knowing the flash points of the oils to make sure you're getting the benefits without the carcinogenic particles or materials that your body can't recognize. So that's going to be key when using any oil. Um, but yeah, the overly processed oils you definitely want to avoid are canola, corn, vegetable, and soybean oils at all costs. So replace them with these top three or one of these top three ones of the avocado, coconut, or olive and you'll be good to go. Um, but that concludes today's video. Make sure to hit the like button if you got some value today out of this video and hit subscribe if you haven't already done so for future video updates. And we have a special offer for you and gift as well. Um, if you use the discount code Costco, um, we have a Costco shopper's guide. More information will be in the link in the description below so you can get that for yourself to shop smart when you're out and about here at Costco. And then other than that, we'll see you in the next video.